This is a story of a man, a man with a plan, a plan so evil he could have only conjured it up along with the most wicked of souls. They were his best friends. They were his loyal comrades. Even more glorious than the gates of hell, but even more handsome than the devil himself. Baby's tears? Children's tears? Grown man's tears? Five million will be transferred to your account shortly, Chancellor. You've made a wise decision, and a bountiful one at best. Mother. <laughs> you are the most evil and corrupt thing on this planet. I will hold you close to my heart, and ever closer with each maniacal thing you bring about. <laughs> Kisses. Shrimp tears. I don't remember this day. Love you too, Mother. <laughs> but it must have been dastardly, whatever it was. We are gathered here today, my beloved companions, for the greater good, for the righteousness that is intertwined into this world. We are gathered here today to bask in my glory as your leader. I know it is an honor and a privilege to be in my presence. And for me, an honor and a privilege to bestow my glorious vision onto the lot of you. World domination! Uh, yes, you have a question? Barbarian bunny, you bring up problems of the past. Why is this so? I understand, but I can assure you that... Lord Lanchop, thank you for that deep insight and great wisdom of your leader and for solving the simple dilemma brought up by the barbarian. <laughs> But now is not the time to be flattering me. Now is the time to be plotting and planning, my great leaders. <laughs> yes, now you have something to say? Uh, well, uh, well, I can... Uh, yeah. Yes, I know, I know. This is the most monumental plan to date in all our schemes. But I assure you, this is as simple as pie. By God, Tyrant Teddy, look around you. We are the masterminds of evil in this world. And here we are, all in one room. What makes you say I can't?
Your reevaluation and forgiveness in the situation is doubly noted, old friend. And do not worry, your input is always valid. Upon my greatness, I swear, all is forgotten upon the second. Lord Lanchard, pull yourself together! This is world domination here! Uh, will someone please help the Lord of Deviants and Lambs, please? Oh, you guys are truly evil. Well, Lamb Chop, come and get up when you're ready. Chaos will be waiting for you. By graces, you are man's best friend, Dictator Doggo, and your words only fulfill that fact evermore. Your love is cherished, undoubtedly, and I am delighted that beyond euphoria that you are more than eager to start. Well, Captain Kitty, I must tell you, your nine lives have served me well. And I swear to you, once we grasp the world like I grasp this table, you will have nine more. Your allegiance is doubly noticed as equally and deeply as the others. Thank you for showing up from your catnip. Yes, you're entirely right, Ruler X. We must get down to business if business shall happen. All in agreement? Good. That's why they stayed. They had admiration and love. For what better foundation can be used in any sense? For even leaders as evil as them, they still projected love. A love of a greater evil. Their leader, Legendary Lini. For weeks and weeks, they planned all types of debauchery for the great scheme of world domination. But Lini felt like they needed another wicked mind for a wicked plan, and so another member fell into the family fold of evil. Settle down, settle down, great leaders. Listen. No, you are not being replaced. Just because your brothers and sisters are extinct doesn't make you a less valuable member. No, nobody is being replaced, I swear. Yes, I know. This isn't like the Flood Tyrant Teddy. This is world domination. It's bigger, don't you understand? It's true, these guys were really evil. Even though their looks may be deceiving, 89% of the disasters that have happened over the past seven decades have happened at the hands of these wicked souls, and the wickedness was about to get worse. No, I swear they're evil enough, of course. Do you doubt the judgment of the greater good? Me, Lini? Ruler Rex. I mean, just look at him. I even interviewed him yesterday. Well, I do think you are the one for the job. The other ones just don't match up to your potential.
Yes, we are nearly done, Lord Lambchop. I know we have been working hard day and night. Alan here is supposed to be our fresh eyes. Little did Leany know Alan the Alligator had plans of his own debauchery, and he was in the way. What is this? I'm different? I don't bleed like you? I do not have seams? I blink? I eat food? Are you turning on me? How dare you? I am the legendary Lini! I made you who you are! I brought you into this evil community of unity! It was true. Alan devised a mutiny overnight. They made simple opinions appear like facts and catered to the unity of the group. Like a great politician, Alan the Alligator changed the tides like the moon, and Lini was like grains of sand, easily manipulated. Alan the Alligator turned him into a stepping stone, and when he stepped, he turned Lini into a decaying sand castle, a crumbled kingdom of grains, forgotten for the tides. Most wicked of souls have felt pain and have been betrayed just like the rest of us. Lini's foundation was no more, but Lini still stood. His tears became his fuel and from that fuel came a fire, the fire of revenge. That gap-toothed, mouth-gaping, quadrupedal piece of luggage! I brought him in from the street, built him up from nothing, made him who he is today! And how does he repay me? Comes into my family and turns everyone against me! Well, you know what? I had nothing handed to me. Nothing. I built myself from the ground up. I paid off politicians. I founded the oil industry. I burnt cities to the ground, massacred innocents caused tsunamis to erupt from the ocean, built massive warheads that could take out entire cities, let alone countries. I'm going to show him what it means to be evil. Legendary Lini, I am the most wickedest soul this world has ever seen, and you have just royally fucked up. I am the master of mutiny itself. I am the definition of fear and evil, you oversized yellow belly slimy salamander. Lini became a forest fire, and with those flames rekindled the wickedness he had conjured up between him and all his evil leaders. The sands of time had run out for Alan the Alligator, his own evilness got in his way, and now he was paying the price. And if that is what 
you and your soul is made of. Since that is what this entire corrupt family of rulers is, well then guess what? You can never escape me. <laughs> for I am always with you. For I am its very being. Oh, you don't want to think about the things I am going to do to you. You'll regret every bleeding second of your life that you have left. That you ever betrayed me. See you later, alligator. Lini became aware of the truth in the midst of the revival of old ties. Alan the alligator was a liar and put down his fellow leaders. He made Captain Kitty and Dictator Doggo turn against each other. The other evil leaders soon realized Alan the alligator wasn't wicked. He was insanity. And they prayed for Lini's return. All is forgiven, my comrades. My love for you all is unconditional. But we must continue as we have planned for world domination. <laughs> there is nothing more evil for us to do. What do you mean we already have the world? Hate can still draw wisdom. However, for these wicked overlords, it brought them an abundant realization about their present moment. Ah, yes. How could we have been so blind with our hate and evil at a time like this? You are absolutely right, my great leaders. We have had the world all along. Well, my comrades, we have successfully conquered the world, and now we can bask in our victory. Let's begin. Mm -hmm.